Hey, it's Dr. Pad here. I'm trying to graph a parabola in WebAssign. So that's what I'm going to try and do here. I've got my revenue function right here. And so what I want to do is make a graph of it. Now, when using this thing, one of the pieces of information I need, well, two pieces, is I need two data points to make the graph, okay? And one of the key points is the vertex. So this, this feature really likes using the vertex. So I've got to find those two points out first. And my first point I'm using is 5, 150 because I did negative B over 2A. That gave me 5. Plugged the 5 in, and that got me 150. So there's my vertex. And then my second data point that I'm going to have automatically is you plug in 0 for the price, revenue is going to be 0. So those are my two data points. All right. So when to make the graph, I'm going to come here and click on the uh, parabola. Th the first thing it does, it's going to show me two options. Uh, do I want a parabola that opens up or down, or do I want, want a parabola that opens left or right? So those are my two options. So I, I want the parabola that opens up or down, so I have to click on it again, and now you see it's highlighted. So I'm going to pop over here now into the graph and actually try and plot my point 5, 150. I go to the vertex first, plot the vertex first. And then plot your second point, in this case for me, was 0, 0. Okay, and that's going to make my graph. But now the problem is, is like, oh, um, you know, I'm an old guy and, and I got this, you know, too much caffeine. And so it's really hard for me to, to make sure that I got the point I really want. Because right now I'm seeing it kind of labeled as 5 comma 155 and then I'd be like jiggling with this thing for a while and oh my gosh I get really frustrated you know because hey, I'm this old guy doing this stuff so tricks of the trade is instead of me trying to figure out and get this perfectly with this thing with my mouse what I'm going to do is going to go over here to the right and this double arrow thing I'm going to click on that graph layers and then you see this first thing right here it's vertical parabola number one so that's what it, I've only got one parabola so that's why it's listed one it, you can do multiple parabolas and then it'll start listing all of them so then I just click on the little arrow here and now notice here's my two data points I was trying to get hey at least I got one of them right I got the zero zero right but the five 155 is off a little bit I don't want 155 I just want 150 so I'll go in there I'll type it and I'll edit I clicked on the number and I type it and edit it now I've got it at 150 without me trying to really force the uh, the cursor uh, not working for me but this is how I can do it using graph layers here I've got my vertical identify which of the parabolas which graph I'm playing with and then I can actually type in the points that I want and so that's how I would be making my types of graphs without trying to get it perfectly on the graph so hopefully this will reduce some frustrations for you take care and have a good one